Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Welcome back at 617. Happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. I know the weather was a little bit iffy at times, especially with that wind yesterday. It was a beautiful looking Easter Sunday, right? But the wind made it feel that much cooler and it was just kind of a nuisance throughout the day. So the good news for today is not only will we see that wind back off, but we also start a nice little warming trend. In fact, we'll see highs once again up around 80 degrees in the Treasure Valley before the work week is done. So the warming temperatures are welcome, right? It feels great. We love the sunshine, but we're also, of course, now having flooding concerns in our mountain areas. So there's a flood advisory in effect for the foreseeable future for the Big Wood River at Haley. Flood stage is five feet. We're just over four feet right now, and we expect it to just kind of hover in that four foot range for most of the week. So ponding on some low lying areas is very possible. Some subdivisions may see some standing water on roadways in that area. So just something to keep in mind. Make sure you avoid that standing water or drive very, very slowly through it until you know how deep it is. Across the northwest today, a pretty quiet weather day. One little disturbance is starting to sneak its way onto the west coast right now, but this will all stay to the north of us. We will see some clouds likely sneak in tomorrow, but we will keep our mild temperatures in play for the rest of the work week. An absolutely gorgeous work week ahead of us. Now, we are watching a chance of a shower or two popping up Tuesday and possibly Wednesday. Not all of the models agree here, and most of the activity will be right along the Idaho-Nevada border and possibly up in our west central mountain locations. But again, this model here is not showing any precipitation at all over those couple of days. Not until Thursday into Friday, we see a better chance of some showers popping up. But even then, we stay mild and most of that activity <clears throat> will not impact the Treasure Valley. Over the weekend, temperatures get a little bit cooler as our high pressure moves off and gets squashed kind of by an incoming uh, area of lower pressure that will drop our temperatures early next week. And heading into the first couple of days of May, we will see those temperatures drop back down nearer to normal. But regardless, we have some beautiful weather ahead of us. So for your Monday, if you've been itching to maybe wash the car like yours truly and have been waiting until we have a dry spell, I think you'll be okay this week to get it done. 75 in Ontario today, 70 with lots of sunshine in Boise. That's a great day. Maybe to wash the car in your driveway instead of actually going to the car wash, right? Save yourself some money. 65 for Idaho City today, 70 in Garden Valley, upper 50s in the Long Valley, partly cloudy skies, but nice and comfortable up in our central mountain locations. Lots of sunshine in Sun Valley today. Nice, pleasant condition. 62 in the Sun Valley area, 63 with much lighter winds this afternoon in Fairfield compared to 24 hours ago. Same story in the Magic Valley, lighter winds, warming temperatures and tons of sun. 65 for Twin Falls and Burley today, 68 degrees expected in good. Our extended forecast shows those temperatures continuing to climb through Thursday. That's when our warmth will reach its peak this time around. 78 degrees expected in Boise with overnight lows in the upper 40s to right around 50. We do get a little cooler for the weekend, but still comfy with upper 60s on tap for Saturday and Sunday.